Welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part. And let me open a new part. And I will show you step by step how to build it. In the front plane, I create a sketch. Then I pick a rectangle. This will be a center rectangle. Place it to origin. Right click. Select chain. For construction. Then I pick this guy and place it an arc. Let's give some dimensions here. This is 5, this is 20, this is 5. We got the, here an axis. So what we will do with that is this will be used in our revolve operation as an axis of revolution. Every revolve will ask you this. So I'm a little bit fast here. I go back. Sketch is OK. I come to revolve surface. Sketch is selected. Axis of revolution. And we got this. Nice. Now we look from right plane. We create a sketch. We will create something like this you see on the screen. And then later, a straight line. This straight line will be a construction geometry. Now I select three of them. Left mouse bottom is click. Next metric. Here the angle will be, sorry, this one, the angle will be 12. This is good. I select right plane. I go to curves, split line, intersection active, and I break my surfaces. Second operation, breaking with the sketch, we select sketch, select split line. You may be going to think that why he is doing this, because I need some specific uh, objects from these broken lines. For example, if I don't break here, I will not be able to find the middle of this wide line here as well. And I do not have another work here because I will mirror it. So I don't do anything there. Now you're going to get it better. Sketch. It's really sketch. So we get a line from here. Yes, I hear a mid plane. plane. I hear I am here having mid plane. Also here, look at this one. Mid line, mid line. Let's look what we have. They all look fine. They need to be black, but they didn't. So we select point and align, give here a midpoint option. When we are doing this, control is pressed, select this line, point, midpoint. We repeat this four times. If you do this, you see that it is not in the right position. So select line, select point, midpoint. Last here, select line, select point, midpoint. That's great. We have it. So we go surfaces, love the surface, two files. First is guy, but we need to use selection manager. Right click here, this select group. Right click here, selection manager, select group. So points should be aligned. We close it. Bam, we get this. There is this in the white plane. So we can make a mirror. Features, mirror, bodies. Okay, guys, let's see this one. And we got this. I always prefer to complete a lot of operation that will bring to me the, to, to, to me to the latest state as quick as possible. So I get motivated. I also see the total picture better. So now I'm going to make an... Uh, uh, circular pattern. I select my origin and surface body here. Let's see all of them. Okay, I'm going to rotate them in the same center. So I need to create an uh, axis, right plane and origin selected. I go to axis and I create it here an axis. So I can hide this two guy, that, that guy, and then I'm here selecting a circular pattern. Axis is this, 
and body is this those guy and here 360 and um, how much 12 360 uh, 30 yes 30 time copy we create here close this looks fine we have some missing components we're gonna complete them on plane axis here push to object here that's good and now what we're gonna do we're gonna complete this areas surface loft again select this two good loft again select this two okay you shouldn't make like this then you get a problem good I select right plane again and this loft should be mirrored select mirror yes we're gonna copy the other ones now circular pattern axis selected bodies this guy this guy this guy yay we got it so it is wise now to get rid of this a lot of bodies here what we're gonna do then net surface so it will combine all individual surfaces and i select everything here and then i wait my program to calculate it and i say here okay let's do something like this open loop planner surface it might not work oh it did work good this is in fact the operation that i made planner surface same with these guys let me show you something different right plane selected i create a plane okay i select this point i create on that point one uh, plane on this plane create a sketch right click select open loop convert this to an edge or lines so we can use here on the surfaces not extrude but um, planner surface See, same operation one is a little bit taking longer the other is simpler you don't need it but it only works in 2d plane that's the trick with that so we select all these guys create solid merge entities will not work here we got this nice thing we create a sketch and i will cut it Okay, 19. Next would cut. Up to next is okay. And then we're gonna look from uh, front plane. Let's look from front plane. We have there also this one, but it's not very important. Front plane, we create here a sketch. So always we get one line to be able to align things. Okay. That is important. I will draw such a thing. Now we need to fix some things. For example, this should be coincident to this edge. Coincident appears. Yes, it's in the right point. I look normal now. Here I got 0 0.75. Here I got 0 0.6. And this is a little bit higher and if I might from here to here was 125 let's see we can make it a little bit more 150 15 150 yes good we need to copy the thing to the other side we click right select everything I do again right click select chain if it is connected, it will be everything will be selected. Then you go to mirror and make this operation. So this is good. And uh, one thing that I would like to do here: create here a radius, something like this. This will be converted to a construction geometry, and here will be the distance 0.35. So 
now I need to redo things because I think I made some mistake on dimensions here 0 0.75 and here less 0.4 okay yes this was it I think yes this is good now what is missing an axis in fact we have an axis let's not do it and uh, this is good what we're gonna do now revolve both space this is not merged axis of revolution this guy okay and then we get this shape here two time fillet of 0 0.5 here two time chamfer select this surfaces 0 0.5 so 2 it's okay and then we can create here some fillets as well let's do like this we're gonna change the value then we will get the preview so it is okay this is how we could model it and it looks not very complicated I think guys hmm? it looks simple uh, you need to little bit uh, practice it once you get the idea then it becomes very easy to deal with all kind of complexity but uh, this is the way how we will model it of course there might be other better ways for example that I did some operations unnecessarily that's fine this is just an approach but I hope you like my video if you like it hit the like button support my channel see you in another video